Hi, and welcome to the homework for Lesson 1. This is Module 3 of Grade 3. And uh, write your name first. Do that before you forget to do it. You won't remember to do it later. And we're completing charts. These are classic in-out boxes where we have a tricycle has three wheels, number of tricycles. So we're counting threes, basically. So if there's three tricycles, there have to be nine wheels because that's three times three you don't have to write that three times three here but that's what we're doing and if we have 12 wheels then that must mean that there are four tricycles because four times three is 12 right and that was nine and i'm not going to do that writing these little equations for every single box but you get the idea i hope <clears throat> for five tricycles five times three 15 and the total number of wheels, 18, 18 divided by 3 would be 6. And by now you've noticed 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then we're counting by 3s down here, 9, 12, 15, 18, and it's 21 here. And now we're looking at 4s. A tiger has 4 legs. So you can see 20 legs, that had to be... 20 divided by 4 is 5. That's 5 tigers. And 6 tigers would have 24 legs. 7 times 4 would be 28. 8 times 4 would be 32. And you see what we're doing here. We're just, every time we have another tiger, we have to add 4 more legs. So it's 4 more, plus 4, plus 4. 32 plus 4 more, 36. That's 9 fours. And a package of erasers has five erasers in it. So six packages must have six times five erasers. Six times five is 30. And you can see down here at the bottom, we're counting by fives. 30, 35, 40, 45, 10 packs, 10 times five is 50. So this has to be seven fives, eight fives, and nine fives, or nine packages of erasers. Write two multiplication facts for each array. So you can see here this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six columns. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's four rows of six. And you could count all of these if you didn't know, but 4 times 6 is 24. See where the equal sign is here, and see where the multiplication symbol is there? Got to read those. It's not always times and equals, right? So uh, another way to write this, with the product first, we can just change the order of the factors. 6 times 4. And this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... It's three rows of eight, which is also 24. 24 equals, switch the order of the factors, and the product stays the same. That's the commutative property. Match the expressions. So this is a mix and match here. So we got to look at this whole section at once. And you might be able to, if you know all your facts really well, you could probably do this in your head without writing it down. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the, uh, the products so we can match up the products. 3 times 6 is 18. 3 sevens is 21. 2 eights is 16. 5 times 9 same as 9 times 5, 45. 10 twos is the same as 2 tens, which is 20. 7 threes is 21. So you can see those match up. 3 sevens matches 7 threes. And now you can see what's going on maybe right away. You almost don't even have to figure these products out because if you see 3 times 6, there's 6 times 3. You almost don't have to know what it equals. You can match it up. 2 8s, we're going to look for 8 2s. Here's 8 times 2. 
And five nines is going to be the same as nine fives. And ten twos, like I said, is the same as two tens there. So that's how they match up. So you can either do that. You can either solve all these. 20, 45, 16, and 18. You can either solve all these and match up the products. Or you can just recognize the commutative property. And finally, we have uh, completing some equations. We have two sixes equals six twos, which equals 12. Right? These are being written in unit form. Usually, we're, we're used to seeing unit form uh, with units of ones or tens or hundreds in second grade. But now, you know, third grade, we're multiplying, so we, we can have units of any kind of number whatever we want to count. So six threes is the same as three sixes, which is 18. And these are the same ones that are up here, I think. Mm, they're not. Some of them are. Four eights is the same as eight fours. Eight times four is 32. If you know your facts, uh, if you've been practicing them with flashcards, that helps. Um, but, uh, just, you know, that helps playing a lot of playing some multiplication card games is even better. Here we have, uh, fact triangles are a great way to practice your multiplication facts. It just, it makes this so easy when you just know your facts. So here we see a product of 28 and we have to figure out what's the other factor. How many fours makes 28? And it's seven. <clears throat> and, you know, if you had to skip count, if you've memorized the sequence of fours, uh, and, and you can skip count fours, it would be four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four. So you can figure it out that way. And you can always figure out the next factor in a series like this if you're skip counting by adding four and adding four and adding four and adding four. And that's okay. If that's what that helps you remember. You keep doing that, and eventually you're just going to remember everything. <clears throat> five twos plus two twos is going to be seven twos, right? Because we have five twos, two more twos, seven times two, which is 14. And then here we're looking at fives, right? This is going to have to add up to six fives. So we have one five already. We need five more fives to have six fives. And six fives is the same as five sixes, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30.